Welcome back, everyone. Well, I know it's been about a month, and you know you guys haven't been able to see um, about the seeds that I started and everything. So I thought tonight I would just you know take a little time and show everybody the seeds that we've planted and where they are right now and how they're growing. Um, you know, I'll show you the good and the bad for this. And now that the weather is finally starting to get you know right and all that um i'm going to be showing everybody coming up in the future here we got a lot of um different things that we're going to be doing on this channel uh not only are we going to be doing um like showing everybody how to do like some landscape work but we're also going to be doing like the bucket uh planters we're going to uh, show you how we're going to take some like scrap fence wood and um we're going to turn it into um bucket planters um we're gonna do uh the rain barrel um uh, more plantings things like that we're gonna we got all kinds of stuff that we're gonna show you like in terms of um you know planting uh like around the house and everything but also like what you do with that you know after after the season you know like canning um things like that and when I, just to kind of give like um uh, like a little bit of a background. Um, when I was growing up, my grandparents, especially like my grandmother and that, they always loved to do the planting. They they did a. I mean, when we first moved where we are, we had a really big garden, and I can remember this as a little kid, and they would plant and plant and plant, and I mean, we had everything. We had rhubarb. We had. All kinds of like tomatoes, beans, carrots, um, peas, everything you could imagine. And I just think that in this like crazy hectic world today, we're kind of like getting away from that. You know, nobody really wants to like do that, you know, kind of stuff. But to me, that's always been like, like I say, something that I like to do. But I'm trying to like minimize like the amount of time like I spend on the ground, you know, as you're getting older, it, it gets harder to you know, get up and down and all that. So that's why I started to try to like show everybody like how with like limited space, but with like a five gallon buckets or something, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna try like all different things. We're gonna try, like I say, we're gonna try tomatoes, um, herbs and all that. We're gonna try carrots, peas, uh, potatoes, garlic, like like I say, whatever I can get my hands on and whatever buckets I can get my hands on, I'm going to, you know, show like how you can, um, you know, farm at home yet or do at home and like get back to that, you know, that time where like, you know, you planted things that you did and then you canned them and, you know, things like that. And that's kind of like how I want wanted this channel to like evolve into was a way that like you could like, you know, um, so, like, you know, how you can still do that kind of stuff in this, you know, hectic world and never this crazy world. So, like I say, um, I'm going to try to start putting out more videos now that the weather is getting better. I know we're going to have, like, the upcoming build. We're going to do, like, the bucket, uh, the brackets for the buckets. Um, we got that coming up. Um, I'm going to be redoing the rain gutter where we're going to hook up uh, for our rain barrel for all of our, our stuff. And um, I'm hoping, too, to get, like, this year, um, you know, a couple other things done. I don't know exactly what yet, but like I say, I, I just hope that, you know, we like, we can, like, you know, as a, as a community, not only, you know, can I show everybody how to do things, but I also hope that, like, everybody, like, you know, learns a little something or you can take away a little something, um, you know, from what I show and everything. So... Like I say, I guess without further ado, let's get into tonight's video. We'll kind of keep this short. I know I've already babbled on enough, but but um, so anyways, if you remember, um, a month ago, we ended up getting our containers, um, the dirt and the seeds, all from the dollar store. I wanted to try something different. I wanted to um, see like if you could still get the same results, you know, from like buying high end seeds and to like maybe like something you have in the dollar store and i'd like to say that out of the what do i got here one two i got five of them total 
The broccoli is over there under the light. As you can see, it's kind of like red on my face. That's because I've got that over there on the red light. So that's, um, you know, over there and everything. But I wanted to show everybody like the ones that are growing and the one that isn't. So out of the four I have here on the table, um, if you're talking about in terms of success rate at 100%, because I'm not counting that over there, I got about a 75% success rate here. So yeah, you win some, you lose some, but we can always, you know, substitute the one that, uh, you know, that is not good. But anyways, let's start off with um, our first of our tomatoes. Now these are our cherry tomatoes this year. And as you can see, they are really coming up really nice. And they're already starting to get, um, let me see if I can point to the right one here. Um, like here, they're already starting to get their, um, yeah, you can see that, their second leaf there. But they're also, um, was it these ones or was it the other ones? No, it was the, uh, let's see, no, it might have been these. I'm not sure. But anyways, they're already starting to get their second leaves in. And they're already starting to, you know, get nice and straight and tall and everything. And so we're going to keep, you know, keep going with these ones. Um, pretty soon as they get a little bit bigger here, I'm going to thin them out. I'm going to take out like, like for example, I can show you like here on back here. Like back here, I have um, like a couple stragglers right here that are like little or whatever. Like right here, you can see this one's just got, it's only, it's only the starter leaves, the two of them. And since this one is like so close to it right here, I'll just end up like pulling them out and get rid of them. But I'm going to go through and take, you know, take the strong ones and um, get rid of the weak. But I'm really happy so far with the cherry tomato one. Now, the one that I've had a, a kind of a disappointment in, and I don't know, maybe it was the seeds or what, but was the multi pepper ones here. Now, this one supposedly was multicolored, um, a multicolored pepper or peppers, peppers, uh, sweet peppers. But as you can see, out of a whole package, I only got maybe four, maybe five that ended up coming up out of this whole entire thing. Now, I'm not saying I'm really disappointed, but I'm going to let them ones grow. And, um, you know, hopefully they'll get bigger. And I can still get them planted outside, but that's going to have to be one that I'm going to have to um, uh, supplement the bucket with, uh, with um, actual plants as soon as they start coming out and everything. Um, part of our herb one here we have is basil, and we're also going to be planting, um, I want to say dill maybe some rosemary, thyme, whatever, you know, whatever we can, because I can remember, like I say, going back to as a child, um, I can remember my grandmother, they would always plant, um, not when they had the pickles, but when they had the pickle uh, cucumber plant ones there, but they also planted dill and things like that because they would dry that out and like actually store that, you know, in a bag for the uh, cooking throughout the winter. So I'm going to do like, um, one full bucket like this of the basil plants. I'm going to do one of dill and one of like thyme, all that kind of stuff. And I'll show you at the end of the season, like how you can dry that out, you know, and have it for like, uh, home cooking and all that, you know, through the winter and everything. But anyways, getting back to, um, what we said now, this one was planted. Um, I want to say week or two after so that's why this one is smaller. But this is the Italian uh, the Italian basil. And it's really coming up really nice. And I'm just going to let these keep growing. I'm going to water them and keep them, you know, keep them under the light. And um, just see if they get any bigger. And hopefully, you know, we can just take them right out of here and plant them in our bucket. And, you know, hopefully we'll get some uh, real nice basil this year. And um, then our last one here. And again, this is another one, tomato one that I had. And this one here is our beefsteak tomatoes. And as you can see, them too, they, um, they're they looking really nice. A um, couple of them have already got their the, the second leaves that are coming in. 
couple of them are little stragglers. They they only got their first leaves and all that. But I'm gonna let them let them go too. And now that they've started getting this tall, um, I ended up now leaving the lid off of them. And I let the light on them for about you know the majority of the day, like what the sunlight is. I I have the light on them from like seven to about. I don't know, six o'clock at night or so, like once the sun starts to going down out there, about 5.30-ish or so. But um, I'm running the red light like that, and it seems to be making a difference. Um, I think last year, um, I think I made the mistake last year of running like the, um, the red and the blue together to create that white light. This year, I was, like, just taking them solely at the red light. And, I mean, maybe that's why the pepper one didn't come up. But the basil and the tomato ones seem to be uh, responding to that red light. And I'm going to, you know, keep it under there. Um, keep them watered. And then as the weather now begins to warm up, because we've had some crazy weather. I know we're not the only one. But we've gone from 65 degrees one day, and we went down to... I believe it was 22 the day before for a daytime high. Today we were like in the mid 30s or something like that. So this this weather is all over the place. But once the weather starts getting warm enough out there, um, a lot of these are going to be moved outside. You know, during the during the daylight hours and the warmth, so they can um, start to acclimate being outside. And then at night, I'll just bring them in and, you know, put them back in the house so they, they don't freeze. But um, as soon as the weather starts getting to a consistent, probably about 55 plus, 55, 60 degrees or so, um, I'm going to start, like I say, moving them out, let them get some air, let them get some sunlight, um, things like that. But I'm going to do it very gradually. I'm going to like, maybe like for like the first day or so, I'm only going to put them out there for like, maybe like, 10 20 minutes you know i don't want them because it's 55 still isn't like exactly like a heat wave but to me it is warm enough to try to start getting them um you know start getting them out there even even if it's just for like a short period of time um i try to get them out there for maybe like 10 15 minutes at a time and then you know that way then they can start getting used to um like i say the sunlight um being outdoors things like that so so, um, I'm hoping though, like I say, to post, you know, I start posting now here like every other day now that, uh, you know, the weather's finally taking a turn, it's getting better and, you know, I'm hopefully going to be doing some more landscaping videos, more gardening videos, um, more of just everything, you know, just to kind of show like, you know, outdoor living and, you know, back to, um, you know, doing things the simple way, you know, instead of always racing to a store or something, you know, you can grow a lot of this on your own and try it, you know, so, so, all right, everyone, well, I know I kind of rambled on here tonight, but thanks for watching, and, you know, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, because it helps to get it out there, and uh, until the next video, man, I'll see everybody then, take care and stay safe, everyone, and we'll see you next time, bye, everyone.